and I hope Doc got something special for me this time. My legs are all cramped up and beat up, but he said pull up, so I'm gonna pull up and see what he's talking about. Yo, Doc, it's me. Yo, Doc, what's goody? I'm back, yo. But listen, 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 listen. I gotta, I gotta get to the, I gotta, I gotta get to the real. I gotta get to the real. So during my last race, I had this problem where I'm really starting to cramp up crazy at the end of the races, and I don't really know what it is. And yeah, like it just happens at the end of every race, and sometimes on my long runs, I start to cramp up. Do you got anything that I could use for that? Tell, I've been working on something very special, and it's going to change your life, right? Now, let me break it down to you. But first, Tell, listen to me. This is very important. Gel packs are not replacements to real food. They are an extension, supported by science, to meet the demands of endurance sports and athletes like you, before, during, and after. Listen, where it's possible, you should stick to your normal eating patterns with real food. With all elements of training and long-term, consistency matters, right? Well, I said it was science-based, so let me tell you about the science. Muscle glycogen and blood glucose are the primary sources of energy for contracting muscles. And optimal dietary carbohydrate intake enhances recovery and optimizes glycogen stores for the next session, right? So this is exactly why you got to go and you got to listen to everything I say and how you take these, right? Now listen, remember what I was saying earlier? Your regular meal should stay the same. You should make sure that you're getting enough carbohydrates and water, and all those things on a daily, right? All right, Tao, now listen in, listen to me carefully, right? This is exactly, I'm telling you, gonna tell you why now, pre-event or during your training, your carbohydrate requirements. Glycogen stores in the bodies are limited, right? They're very limited. Pre-event nutrition strategies aim to optimize glycogen stores for the work required, right? So where it's possible, you should avoid meals with high fat, protein, and fiber before or during training sessions, right? This is why when you eat when you eat foods that are high in fat, protein, and fiber pre-event and during your training, this is why you cramp up. You ever notice you get the knot, that knot right under your chest and your upper abdomen on the right, and you'd be like, oh, I can't breathe, it hurts. That's from eating those high fat, protein, and fiber foods before or during events. Now, when your glycogen is depleted, that's stored, it results in underperformance. Glycogen stores last about 60 to 90 minutes during high intensity exercise and up to 120 minutes for moderate intensity. Now, this is where the gel pack comes in very crucial. And this is why you should take it every 30 minutes because as you're depleting them stores, you need to add them back. And if you wait too late, that's when you start to cramp. You don't want to cramp while you're doing, doing those late races. You told me that at the end of your races last time, you started to cramp. Why? Because your hydration and your fueling wasn't right in the beginning. So then you felt all that at the end when you're, when you're, when you're, when you're, when your stores were completely depleted, right? Right? A hydrogel is a bipolymer water-based structure with very small pores. Uh, are you falling asleep? Are you? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Once I say my last, this last line here, you know what? We're going to just go out there and we're just going to get to it. And I'm going to just, just, all right, because you're getting me upset. But you know what? You know what? All right, all right, all right. You're falling asleep, huh? Don't, you know what? Forget that. I ain't bringing this signs down. You know what? Get your ass out there. When you see this, when you see a box with a with a question mark on it, you hit that, and that's that's my sign to you of when to take it every thirty minutes or four miles, whichever comes first, and then you take that gel, and then you let me know how you feel, right? Because clearly the sign is putting you to sleep, and I can't take this anymore, right? Taylor, you got me up, got me fit up here, man, fit up. Yo, Doctor Ye is so upset. He making all these hydration fuel packs. He need to make himself a chill pill. <laughs> all right, let's see what this joint here for. Nah, I feel amazing. Okay, okay, that old man know what he talking about. <laughs> What's up, Three Hour Marathon? Here I come. Yeah, yeah, you like that, right? Right? See, what I did that's a little bit different is I found a way to build the hydrogel with natural food ingredients, right? And we structured it, I structured it with the most efficient source of energy 
around, which is a carbohydrate. I also have this in the liquid version for you, just in case. Do so you take the liquid version during the pre-event? And then even during the during the during the event, and then you switch to the gels, and man, you're gonna be a beast. Sub three, here we go.